when i think about all the trolling that happens in this game it is unreal it is beyond any reason it is unfathomable but anyway let me get back into explaining how to do the panels in this map really fast without wasting any time and running around like a muppet searching for those panels i have watched a lot of solo runs even solo dead bots and every single player i have watched doing solo dead bots in this map doesn't know how to do the panels really fast they do not know the panel combinations and the possibilities and they do not really end up doing this map really fast without wasting any time so how do you do it fast when you get the order of doing the panels you are going to be around this part of the map so you are going to be around here killing all the zombies and as soon as you get the order of doing the panels the first thing you are going to do is run on the right side of the map and search for this panel if you get to activate this panel then it is always going to be the middle part of the panels so it is either going to be this panel or it is going to be this panel the middle panels so this panel will activate the middle middle part of the map if instead you do not get to activate that panel but then this panel then this panel will activate the leftmost part of the map the corner where it is either going to be this panel or this panel so there is the combination so when you get the order to do the panels all you going to do first to be effective is to check this panel because if you check this panel it's either going to be able to activate or not when you activate it it is going to be the middle when you don't get to activate this it is going to be this panel and then it is going to be either of those uh, leftmost corner of those two panels that is the combination that is the combination and it is much more efficient it is much more easy because when you check this panel you know half of the time which of the panels would be there because it is one in four chance it is one and a half chance it is 50% chance to to activate this panel and then it is 50% chance to activate either one of those two panels so when you check this panel you already have done 50% of the job because you either activate this or not you activate this then you know it's the middle part if you don't activate this then do the other panel and then go in the corner so at the start of the map at the start of panel switching it is either going to be this or that panel that's how the combination is and it is easy if you follow this it always works out and i'm going to make a lot of videos if i get time to find all the panel combination and switch combination in all of these all of the maps because this game is all about finding patterns and if you know the patterns in this game about spawning and switches and panels then you can do the map easy and smoothly without any effort now i don't like this map because all you do in this map is a mag dump on swarm zombies this is a horde type of map they designed this map as if it is a horde mode where you stand on platforms and mag dump the swarm it takes no skill it is boring as hell and you can even go back there at the end of the map and camp out there and hold out and let the team do all the work and this part of the map is kind of interesting because what saber actually tried to do is make it such that it is cooperative but it doesn't work as a cooperative mode because after you do the panels after you do the first panel you still get 15 seconds of time to do the next panel which is a long time it should be like around 3 to 4 seconds it shouldn't be more than 4 seconds because if you get a lot of time you can use invisibility and invulnerability to do the both the panels by yourself and it is not a cooperative game when you do not require teammates to do the panels i mean the invisibility and invulnerability and masking effects all make the game so easy that you can just solo all of these things by yourself without needing any team and the other problem with this is like if you do not run any invisibility or invulnerability then you are going to have a lot of tough time 
to do the panels because the panels are located where the zombies are coming where the swarm is so the swarm is going to pile up on these fences and stray zombies are going to trickle down the fence here and going to attack the players who are doing the panels the panel doing people are going to face a lot of problems and the other people are not obligated to protect them because they can just hold out somewhere behind and wait for the people who are doing panels to die eventually and not do anything this is why to be cooperative uh, event they have to reduce the time to about four seconds even less so that two people are instantly necessary at the panels to do those panels without wasting any time and they are absolutely necessary to make this a cooperative game because the purpose of this game is cooperation it is not a solo game i don't know why people are doing dead bot solo runs when this is a cooperative game it is not fun to do that and the other part is like you could say that uh, they could make all the panels random now the thing is saber could do that and saber could make everything random in this game now if the panels were to be random then you could do some maths and the math is basically permutations of into brackets uh, n comma k where n is the number of panels and k is the number of panels you have to turn on so n is 6 and k is 2 and p into brackets n comma k turns out to be n factorial divided by n minus k into brackets factorial which is 6 factorial divided by 4 factorial which turns out to be 30 so there are 30 possibilities if saber were to make it completely random like any random two panels but they have made a pattern and the problem with doing it completely random is that you could for example get uh, this panel and this panel and that would make it really easy uh, you could just turn it off turn those two panels easily within three seconds and that is why you do not really want to have uh, infinite or maximum possible possibilities in the game but if you get a panel combination where you have to turn on this panel and then somewhere in the corner those two panels because that is the combination it is the game is much harder you have bad rng because it takes a long time to come here and you're going to face a lot of zombies and specials and you have to in that case use uh, invulnerability use vanguard charge and use masking on whatever and then do those panels but if you are kind of having an easier time then you get an easier rng where you do this panel and then instantly go around here and do this panel and that is going to be so rng is also a lot of rng is also a big factor but yeah that is a combination it is either going to be 50 50 this and once you get this panel you go in the middle if you get this panel you go far away far away in the left corner and do those two panels so it is one in four chance and it is easy and if you check that panel at the start it is half of your job is done and it is the game easy so i hope you learn something and i do not have to see again people running around like muppets trying to search for panels when this is a simple combination and there you have it i'll see you guys later